like, damn, this is this is some crazy shit, man. Is there any connection with the Bigfoot and DMT or mushrooms? Have you ever had definitely? Like, um, I never How about that. I never, I never thought about this being or whatever. Fucking, you know, having the Hendersons. I never fucking. Uh, that's what I meant just now, bro. That was the serious host. Yeah, yeah. I never, I never, um, never none of that. So I take this dose and I lay on the bed. I take like about 10 grams of shrooms dried. And I think it was, I think it was Rusty Whites because the Rusty Whites had a lot of alien info, a lot of stuff like information. And it was very deep. So anyways, I took a, I don't know, 10 grams. Um, I'm laying on my bed and all of a sudden, just like in that movie, Get Out, I felt, I sunk into the bed. But the weirdest thing was that it was, I always say this when I explain to people how the shrooms work, I tell them that it's super disrespectful to your fucking senses, bro, because you can't debunk what's happening to you. So <clears throat> I'm fucking laying there and I felt like um, I was stretching. I got uh, when the shrooms was kicking in, I was like, my whole body felt mad good. So I stretched and I'm like, you know, the ill stretch when you wake up in the morning, one of those bomb ass stretches. And as soon as I relaxed from stretching, I felt my fucking my ass sinking into the bed. And then it sunk further. And then my legs were sinking. And then I was fucking sitting up and I was like sinking into the bed. Now I'm standing up and I'm fucking at the bottom under the bed to pass the bed. It was a tunnel above me like a well. And all the walls that I'm feeling were made out of my blanket in the bed. Mm -hmm. All the walls. And I couldn't climb up. So I don't know if I was just laying in the middle of the bed doing starfish like a goddamn snow angel in the fucking bed. But I was mm -hmm. trying to feel my way around this fucking tunnel and I couldn't get back up. I couldn't climb. So underneath, like three, four feet to my waist, um, it was the bottom of the... The bottom of this Mario Brothers fucking shoe that I was sticking out of that was fucking made out of my bed. And I look down and I look under the fucking pipe from the fucking warp zone I'm in, and I see grass and fucking fucking nighttime fucking jungle fucking food. craziness. So I fucking step in there and I start walking, and I'm feeling the fucking grass and I'm running my fingertips through it like the dude in fucking 300. <laughs> and, uh, well, running my fucking fingers through this deep ass grass wondering like where the fuck am I because I'm looking at the trees and I kept stopping because I'm mad curious about shit I question everything and I'm looking at the leaves I'm like this is like some Jurassic shit look at the fucking colors of these plants mm -hmm. I'm like what the fuck and I hear all of a sudden some crashing like <laughs> crashing in the br in the trees bumps moving and <laughs> so I fucking float over there I float over there and as I float over there I'm walking through the fucking um through this forest and shit and I get to this closer and closer to the crashing and booming and when I get there I see that it's this fucking being that it's like a brontosaurus except that its neck had like four heads like four necks four or five four or five necks I think this one had like four necks and then long brontosaurus heads and I walked up to it and I was shocked when it was standing there, because I was following it for a few steps and then it stopped and it was doing something. I don't know what the fuck the head was doing, but I was looking at the back end of it and I walked right up to the neck and I'm getting closer to where my eyeballs was looking and looking and I could see in the scales of the skin of the fucking creature. I'm, uh, between the scales, I could see that his veins and the pulsing of its inside of it had, it was, it was iridescent. It had fucking, um, like the shit that makes fireflies glow in the dark. Like it had all this glow in the dark, um, natural shit flowing through it. And I could see like the veins and shit. Like it had like a iridescence to the whole thing. It looked biomechanical. And some of it looked like it had like, I don't know, like, like mechanical, but it was, it was, it was not, it was in a machine. It wasn't a robot. It was a real being. Like, but it was like fucking strange as fuck glow in the dark. So. I, not the whole thing, just only the skin between the cracks of the fucking skin, like where the skin was at. The rest of it was like plates or whatever the fuck it was. And but I could see the shit glowing, and um, I was about to touch it. And when I was about to touch it, I seen movement out the left corner of my, of my left eye. And when I looked, it was a whole forest right there, bro. And I could see there was a big, big ass giant tree down on the ground, and right next to the tree was a little boy standing there, naked, but he was all full of hair. He was a little kid. So immediately when I'm looking at this little kid, it took me a few seconds to even react to him. I'm looking at him and immediately I start thinking, am I in the Jurassic Yo, was there humans way back when there was dinosaurs? Like, what the fuck is, I never seen 
this shit right here before a dinosaur with four heads before and like what the why and i'm I, all these questions are bombarded in my brain and all of a sudden this little kid right um i i, I see him so now i i look at him and i see that he's looking at the fucking being that i'm close to and his eyeballs switching from it to me and i was like oh you use and i and i pointed at it like you see this thing and i use my eyebrows like you see this and then I fucking went and I reached my hand out to touch it and I looked at him and when soon as I reached my hand out to touch it, he like ducked down a little bit like, mm -mm, like, like it was dangerous. And he <laughs> so when I did that, I was like, I pulled my hand back and I didn't touch it and I looked at him and he stood back up. And when he stood back up, the, the something was coming towards him through the background, through the, through the shadows. And when I seen it, it was the mom. <clears throat> but the crazy thing was, this is the first time that I realized that the little kid wasn't a human. It was a fucking Bigfoot little boy. Oh. And, and the mom was a huge Sasquatch female that had big tits, like, and, and a shape, like, big hips and, and big, long thigh. But her fucking kneecap was mad low, be per, per further than ours, like, halfway mm -hmm. our foot. That's where her kneecap was. And then um, her feet were mad big, and her fucking arms was long, and her whole demeanor was ill, yo. So when she came, she was like huge yo and then when she came she got down and she smushed the little kid down with her hand and smushed him down and slid him like a fucking like a like something across the table she pushed him down into the leaves and slid, slid him behind the tree like, and then got down and she stayed down behind the tree and she was looking at me and she was watching me so now looking at her i'm like oh man and as soon as i'm looking at her the first thing that i realized when i seen her though go, to go back a few steps i when i first looked at her coming i thought that she was some type of a striped like something with stripes on it across the body and then there was no stripes it was that her face was naked her body was full of hair and her face was naked her boobs were naked her elbows were naked her hands were naked her kneecaps were naked and her feet were naked so it looked like lines of skin that i could see but it was just her face boobs elbows like it was weird like her hands like uh, her kneecaps like she didn't have hair in certain spots of her body and um <clears throat> so the way she moved was crazy because when she got on all four to move behind the tree, she she didn't move to bend over. Like it was like her her knees were in a position that it, even on all four she could run. Like like tops she could run at that and use her hands to fucking help her run faster. Like it was crazy. Even like an ape. Like an nah, yeah, maybe, but but the legs were longer than the apes. Like it was like a person, but it but the knees were like I don't know, it was different. Because you know, apes are awkward on their feet. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> um, and then this is the crazy part. So when she hit down, she didn't get back up. She stayed low. Her whole demeanor was down low. She didn't want to come out the, from behind the tree. She, I seen her when she grabbed the kid, but that was the only time I seen her. The rest, she stayed behind the thing I seen in her eyes. But I knew it was a female and she was mad big. And then I seen behind them, there, there was mad kids, more of them, because the dinosaur thing started moving. And I followed her a few steps and I looked around the fucking thing where they were sitting at. And she kind of like vanished behind the shit. And behind her, I could see there was a bunch of kids little ones and there was more females and then immediately my senses told me that there was a male there but he was hidden and he was watching mm -hmm. and and he didn't move like i could feel i was like cause i don't know how to explain how i knew he was there but like, there's something that i thought about him and it was a correction it was like mm -hmm. like as soon as i thought where's the male at and it was like yeah he's already here watching me to see what i'm doing to catch and, a predator yeah yeah so <laughs> and, uh, so so i started following um the the the, the being that dinosaur being with the four necks, it moved like four, five step, boom, boom, through the woods. And it was only like about, I would say theoretically, like 20 more feet to the edge of the forest. This thing left out of the forest, took a right down the path and walked into the Grand Canyon. And there was like hundreds of all those brontosaurus beings was, some of them had five necks and some of them had four. I don't know which ones were the males, and which were the females, but they were all riding and grooving in between the Grand Canyons and their necks was twirling and was smooshing together like snakes do when they're breeding. Like, I don't know what the fuck. They were having like a huge orgy and it was rubbing against the stones and shit, creating like the Grand Canyon with their huge bodies. Like, it was fucking crazy. So it's like, this is the same shit on shrooms that, you know, made me come to the Sasquatch um, situations.